What the heck? Might as well. So you're gonna go across the column there. What's my total? Eleven plus four. That's fifteen. And then you go to the lower one. What's four plus nine? And that's thirteen. And now you go down each column. You go down each column. Eleven plus four is also fifteen. And uh, that's also thirteen. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Interesting data on. So I've got a Venn diagram here that is uh, female and like English, okay? So the intersection here is are the females that not only are female, but also like English, it's, 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 a, it's a shared interest. And so that would be the, on the two-way table, you look at female, English, 11 goes right where that intersection is. Okay? 11 goes where that intersection is. Okay? Now, of the people that just like English, well, that's, you guys see the total people that are, have English is 15? So we're missing the males that like English. So I got to put four out there because this represents the four in that spot is the four m males that like English. And then on this other part, the females not included in that is another four, and that is the amount of females that, that like math. They're female, but they prefer math over English, okay? So notice, I mean, this, these are really crazy. These are a little confusing for this, for this example because these numbers are the same. But you can see that the females, four plus 11, that's the total females. And 11 plus 4, that's the total amount of people that prefer English, okay? It's a little confusing because there's, there's, there's some similar numbers in this. But from this Venn diagram, we can figure out, we can randomly choose a student from the class, and we can figure out what's the probability of me picking a, a female out of this class just by chance. And it's, it's, the, amount, it's the number of females, the total... Over, over the other total, and I didn't do this column and row total. Remember, you got column and row totals here too. You got column and row totals, because when you add my row total, 15 plus 13, you get 28. When you add the column down here, you get 15 plus 13 is 28. So it's out of 28 total when we do this. 28 is our how many people there are in the, the class. So to figure out this first one, you're going to write down the number of female, which is 15, over the total is 28. I'm going to put it right next to the equal sign. And I'm, I'm not going to put these in, my, in the calculator for a percentage. I'm just going to do a fraction answer. Okay? Now, I can also do the complement, which is what P, no female, and... That would mean how many, how many males there are in the class. Well, there's 13 males in the class, so that'd be 13 over 28, All right? And when I say female and English, that's that, that, that's that Venn diagram intersection, that 11 people that are female and English in the two-way table, it's, it's that intersection. So it's gonna be 11 over 20, over, over total females, which is 15. Oh no, that's going to be all the total, 28. Female and English. So then we also can do female and not English, which would be this four number. And that would be four out of 28. So you see when you get it in the two-way table, it's a lot easier to answer these questions.
And then I can go up here to this next column. Probability of people just like in English would be this row total. So that would be 15 out of 28 again. And probability of, of no English, prefer, preference math, that would be the 13 out of 28. And then English and no female, that would be um, the four, the four, four out of 28. And you could reduce four 28s to, to one seventh if you wanted, but four 28s is fine. I'm gonna wait, this thing's kind of lagging. This is kind of lagging. Now you guys all knew this, this is review. This is all review. This is, uh, this is, we did this last week. This is 4.2 review, just so you guys know. Question two and question three is all from our notes last week that we did on section 4.2. All right, then the last one, probability of no female and no English. So no English, no female would be this score of male like in math and that's 9 out of 28 all right so that's how we can do the probabilities looking at the two-way table questions on that all right so this next one's a little tricky because we gotta take care of, we gotta take out the double counts. Because number three, when we look at the probability of female or English, what we're gonna do, this is, this is equal to the probability of female plus the probability of English but we, we gotta take out that shared little grid, the one that, that, that 11, okay? And so what we have to subtract here is uh, the female and English. The probability of female and English, that 11, all right? And we did that on the partner quiz last week. That was uh, number three. That was the third question on each of your partner quizzes. All right, so, so probability of female in this scenario is 15 out of 28. Probability of, of, of English is, uh, is 15 out of 28. And then the double count that we got to subtract is that upper box. Let me pull this down. So um, that 11 there is female and English. So we got to subtract 11 over 28. So 50, I'm going to just do the numerators. 15 plus 15 is 30. So we have 15, we have 30 28s. You guys see 30, 30 28ths is bigger than 100%. We can't have a probability bigger than 100%. So then we got to subtract the female and English. So 30 subtract 11 is 19. So that is our answer. It's 19 28ths. Okay. All right. Now, number four and number five, we're kind of looking at conditional probability. This is conditional probability. I know what we're going to talk about today. All right, so the probability that a student prefers English given that they are female. Okay, so you guys hear that? Given, that's like a predetermined condition. We're like applying, uh, uh, not quite, we're applying kind of a, a, a we're pulling out of a, a, a sample, I guess would be the right word. 
And what we do, what, what, how we can do this, we can, we can say what's the probability of English given that they're female. So the female is kind of the control group we're pulling out from. All right? That's how we write it. So, and this is, first one is the, is the probability of both events occurring. Divided by the probability of the given event. And the given event is always the second one. All right, so in this example, probability of English and female is 11. And probability out of how many total females is 15. So my answer would be 11 over 15. 11 over 15. And then because I'm pulling, my sample is going to be pulling from females. Right, this, this is conditional probability. This is, the, this is probability of, of, of having an English preference among all the females. That's just what it means. And then I can... Also look at what is the probability that a student prefers English given that they're male. So that's just uh, a similar. The only thing I'm going to change is my, my guide. So English given that they're male. So this is going to be the probability of both events. So how many, how many, males, how many males liked English? So that's going to be what's in my, my numerator. And then out of how many males? Yeah. So it's going to be four out of 13. Um, when I'm done here, okay? Okay, so the formula for this, this is what the formula looks like. So probability of A given B, well, that is the going to equal to the, the probability of both first. The probability that both occur. Divided by the probability of the given occurs. Oh, your, your screen's up to speed now. Okay. And so, how we think of that in our statistical language, this is probability of A and B, okay? Probability that they both occur. Probability of A and B. Divided by just the probability of, of B occurring, of the given occurring. Okay, makes sense? All right, it is a lot. It's a lot. Number numero one. First thing you got to do is you got to go to the totals. You got to do the totals. You guys, you get this two way table and you got to total everything. So total the columns, total all three columns, total all three rows. Who's got a calculator? Someone want to help me on this? Because. Adriana wants me to finish real fast. If you do your part, I'll do my part. I am doing my part. Oh, because you want to leave real fast. Yeah. Okay, then don't finish fast. No. I'm going to be with you so five I'm, days in a row. So I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing column one. I'm doing column A. If someone wants to do column B, that'd be awesome. That's too good. Like, once I start trying to count. I I got So column A, <laughs> when I add all those up, it's 3,392. What's column B? Did you are you figuring that one out? Um, no. 2,952. And then anybody doing column C? Then also I have three rows. Someone do the liberal arts row. Another person do the engineering and physical sciences row. And then the 
someone needs to do I know I row three. 3,656. Okay, 3,656, okay? Now, now do the row, go across with the rows. So this is that two-way table that you've got columns and rows you, got, you have to accumulate, you have to add up. So I got this one. The sec Who's doing the second one? Sixteen hundred. Yeah. Who's got the third row? Uh, All right. All right. So that that's what we do with our two-way table. Okay. So you want to do those totals. So this is the row totals. These are row totals. These are column totals. All right. And so now we can look at these questions and we can answer them. Okay. So probability of a low grade, which in this interpretation value would be below B, okay? Now, who thinks that's a, a low grade below a B? Or do you guys see you think a low grade's even worse than that? Well, and, and I'm just telling you by inter my interpretation is a low grade is something that's below a B, okay? So find the probability of a low grade given engineering, OK? So we don't look at the first row because that's liberal arts. We don't look at the second row because that's health and human services. So the low grade is this 800. And it's given engineering. So we got to look at the totals for engineering. And the engineering total is 1,600. And so that is going to be 0 0.5 or 1 half. And that's not a Z. That's supposed to be an equal sign. We can say that's 1 half or that's 0 0.5. OK? So the probability, when we interpret this probability, this is given that a grade is from the engineering school. There's a 50% chance it's a low grade. So given that a grade is from the engineering school, There is a 50% chance it is a low grade. That is how we interpret that result. We can do the same thing with number two. We can do the same thing with number two. So find the probability of a low grade given liberal arts. So look across to liberal arts. Look at how many low grades there are. Well, that's 2,268. How much, what's our given total for liberal arts? 6,300. And so when I do this one, my value is, is 0 0.36, all right? And so, again, how we interpret this is given that a grade is from liberal arts, or from the liberal arts school, I guess we can say. Can I say LA to, to abbreviate liberal arts? There is a 36% chance. Because remember, this is you, you got to convert this decimal into a percentage. There's a 36% chance it is a low grade.
All right. Now, we're going to look at these two outcomes to, to, to answer this question. So are the events low grade and engineering independent? Okay. Are these events low grade and engineering, are they independent or are they dependent? They are dependent. You know why we know? Because look at in engineering. The likelihood of a low grade in the engineering school is greater than a low grade from liberal arts. That's statistically significant. That is statistically significant. So we say, we say no. So knowing that a grade comes from the engineering school So knowing that a grade comes from an engineering school, what happens to the likelihood of it being a low grade? It increases. It increases. Or I should say school. I should, from the engineering school. The probability of a low grade goes up significantly. Okay? That is a significant difference. 50% of the grades are low grades as compared to a liberal arts school where there's only 36% of the grades as low grades. All right, questions on that? Nope. All right, that's what I wanted to cover today. So I'll spend the rest of the time on any questions you might have.